alaikum and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Hart. For three generations, my family have been using the same recipe for trifle. And today, because I've got nothing better to do, I'm going to share it with you. So sit down and enjoy it. This recipe contains five key ingredients. Sponge, custard, cream, fruit, jelly. Let's start with a sponge. For the sponge part, I've got six of Mr. Kipling's self-proclaimed exceedingly good lemon slices. Mmm! Mmm! The only redeeming feature about these is actually the sponge cake, and I'm going to use that rather than the icing. But any sponge cake will do. You can even use Swiss roll cut into slices if you want to. The custard must be thick. Either get it out of a tin or make it from custard powder like I've done. I usually double the quantity of custard powder which is on the recipe on the box to get my custard this thick. Cream. Either use whipped cream or I quite like creme fraiche in my trifle. It just adds that little extra taste sensation that you don't get with whipped cream. Fruit. I'm using tinned pineapple, but any fruit will do. Tinned pears, peaches, mangoes, mandarin oranges, whatever you want, whatever rocks your boat. And jelly. There's enough here for about 400 mils. Um, I'm using mango flavoured jelly, but any flavour you choose. Raspberry, lime, strawberry, orange, whatever you want. My first task is to cut this disgusting sickly icing off the lemon slices to leave the sponge cake behind. Smash in! I've got my sponge cake. I'll give this to the birds to choke on or something. Now I'm ready to start making my trifle. Now get yourself a nice bowl. This is a bit of a family heirloom as well. And line the base with the sponge. It's looking nice. Now make up the jelly to 400 mils according to the instructions on the packet. Once your jelly is all nice and clear and everything is dissolved, pour enough of the jelly onto the sponge to just cover it. Perfect. Now take some pieces of fruit and start pushing them into the sponge. Once you've got a nice layer of fruit, add just a little bit more jelly, enough to just cover the fruit. Now leave this to set. I've taken my leftover jelly and I've split it into two small bowls. Into this one, I'm going to add just a drop of red food colouring and mix it in. You'll see why I've done this when I come to decorate the trifle. Now leave these to set completely. Once the jelly has set, set nicely, and only when the jelly is set, you can put the custard on the top. Spread it around into an even layer and add on the creme fraiche or cream, whichever you're using. Spread it nice and evenly again. That's nice. Once it's nice and even, mm. get a spoon. Mm. Now we'll go back to the other balls of jelly, which have now both set, and with a small whisk, I'm going to whisk the jelly. Now I'm going to use this whisk jelly to decorate the trifle. So I'll take a little teaspoon, take some of the trifle and put it in a blob around the edge. I'm just going to leave a little gap between blobs and you'll see why in a minute. Now I'll fill in these gaps with the other coloured jelly. He's kind of funky now. I'll just make a little pattern in the middle. It's looking nice. Now I'm going to decorate this bit with some fruit. Just use some very thin slices of the fruit. Poke them in a bit. That's nice. Of course, none of the fruit goes to mm, waste because you just Mm, eat it. Mm. And there you have it. Trifle like my granny used to make. I think my granny would be proud of that. If you've learned nothing else in the last few minutes, at least remember this. Sponge, custard, fruit. Fruit? That's not fruit. 
sponge custard cream fruit jelly. Join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Han. Until next time, Huda Hafiz! Huda Hafiz!